but it, we, we get it on the flat earth debate all the time Th those of you that come to my show and say i've got a belief in actuality it's projection you know when people find out that they've got a fundamentalist religious belief in a spinning water ball flying through a vacuum they often want to ask me about my beliefs it's it's a way of deflecting but it's actually projection it's it's amusing though it's it's been very good <laughs> I'm not trying to make a statement that uh, is trying to portray certain aspects of something that you don't want to have portrayed from your point of view. And if I'm uh, doing that again, I that's that. not what I need to do. But what I, what I would, just if you if you have got a few more minutes, I mean, my, I pointed out that you have a belief, though. You started off this by saying that you don't have religious beliefs. You're not a religious person, but you do. You you, you have a religious belief that you're on a spinning water ball flying through a vacuum. So if I may, there's a few points that I, you know, would like to cover with you, if that's okay with you, in terms of why that's not the case. I mean, I haven't got to cover any of those really, but obviously if you're in a rush to get off, I don't mind. Uh, if you want to still talk about the topic, uh, that's, that's fine. Absolutely. Uh, you know, sure. uh... I can rattle my way through what I call the top three things that destroy the Earth being a sphere. So okay. the, Earth, the Earth being a sphere is asserted by way of this begging the question fallacy, which is called a proof of nothing earth curve calculator that has geometry and is based on an R value. And if the earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, then every distance to horizon can be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height and feet. That would be the geometric horizon. And we've got these images that show that the horizon, this claim to be physical obstruction called earth curve, is way beyond the distance and parameters and constraints of this physical geometry laid down in the maths. Now, as a result, we are told by the people, at least on my show, Flat Earth Debate, that we don't have a geometric physical sphere edge horizon. The thing can't be seen, which leaves the model of a sphere earth in complete tatters, because if you can't see the geometric horizon to measure it, you can't acquire an R value to assert physical geometry, leaving the idea of physical geometry in complete tatters. We, we call this argument the black swan. It's our number one debunking of the globe Earth, begging the question fallacy that is to assume an R value and then reify it into existence. At the point you see the world converge, the horizon, a non-physical location that people think is the edge of the Earth for boats to go over. It isn't. The horizon's not physical. But we've debunked that with this argument called the black swan. So moving on, the sky I mentioned a few times is not a vacuum. Nature abhors a vacuum. If the sky was a vacuum, the gas we all enjoy breathing would fill the availability of space. And irony of irony, they call that area space. Outer space, a vacuum, which it definitely isn't because we'd have no gas to breathe. There's a natural law called the second law of thermodynamics, which would imply that the gas would want to fill the availability of volume it has to fill. It will expand in all directions to fill the space. And if space was a space, the gas would fill it and we'd all be dead. We're not. Therefore, the sky is definitely not 10 to the minus 17 vacuum, as is asserted. Last but by no means least, it's asserted that we have a 15 degree in our turn of the Earth underneath anything that leaves the Earth. It's asserted by things like snipers and it's called the Coriolis effect. That's its most familiar no name. It asserts that things that leave a turning Earth will, from the ground at least, be experienceable with a deflection at 15 degrees an hour. Unfortunately, that would imply that if you took off on a helicopter, you'd be able to wait for the country west of you to come to you as the Earth turned underneath. Also, a drone, you'd launch it off at the equator and it would fly away at 1,000 miles an hour as you turned underneath it. Obviously, these things don't happen, even though they're asserted to. So we don't have Earth turn, we don't have a sky vacuum, and we don't have physical geometry, as is reified by a mathematical model called the heliocentric sphere Earth model, by way of a begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking Earth curve calculator. We don't live on a sphere. The Earth is obviously and observably flat. Okay. Um... You know, thanks for that input. Uh, I, I've, I've heard uh, those arguments before, so I, I understand where they came from. Um, I appreciate the fact that you want to uh, 
you want to make those statements, uh, you know, just to uh, point out the aspects of, uh, you know, your 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 facts that you're basing your uh, beliefs. If I say beliefs, I'm, I, I apologize, <laughs> and, okay. and that they have uh, points of uh, validity that uh, um, why things are the way they are. And that other people ways of understanding, you know, things go through the process of evaluation. Absolutely, I've gone through them in a very short summaristic. Summaristic is that even a word? In a summary, but yeah, absolutely, those are all arguments that annihilate the assertion that you're on a model that's been reaffirmed. Okay, uh, it sounds like from what you're saying that this is something you just you just. I I want to say believe, but I know that's a term you don't like. But it's it just something that you felt you know, was the way things are. And uh, there was no really uh, need to not explain them because that's just the way things are from uh, from the aspects of uh, the way uh, you look at uh, this topic. Sure. Now, I get it. We, we get it on the Flat Earth debate all the time. Th those of you that come to my show and say, I've got a belief in actuality it's projection you know when people find out that they've got a fundamentalist religious belief in a spinning water pool flying through a vacuum they often want to ask me about my beliefs it's it's a way of deflecting but it's actually projection it's it's amusing though it's it's been very good in fact, thank you for interviewing yeah. me peter it's yeah. been a real pleasure yeah no I, I, like you, you said multiple times that you don't follow religion that religion is not part of the way you look at things and you state it multiple times so this is not a belief for you because you don't want people to think that this is something that you just feel is the way things are as much as you've evaluated what you believe are the the um, observations that uh, you know I'm assuming you know you come from the facts based on those observations and that this is a conclusion you come to because of the information that you retrieve and uh, uh, like I said you know, just saying that's the way I, I evolved and so I came to that to that uh, point in life just because the fact is that's that's the way things went for me I understand for most people to be perfectly honest and I've been a little bit brutal hopefully with a jokey tongue in cheek, you know, aside to it, um, you know, you've got to get a little bit of a taste of what a flat earther who actually understands what science is is going to talk like, because you're probably more familiar with your average fundamentalist flat earther from what you've told me. <laughs> and that's fine. You know, more power to them. It's just not me. We just pull apart the heliocentric nonsense based on its total lack of science, its illogical nature, and the fact that the world is actually obviously and observably flat. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, I'll leave it there, and um, I'll say bye. Thank you again, Peter. Pleasure. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. And a massive thank you to all of you who tuned in on this premiering stream for hopefully liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video.